Alright, slightly different video today. Um, I actually had planned on doing a video on this tripod, uh, which I'm printing, but didn't work as planned. Uh, I had some issues with my printer, and I had some issues with kind of the way I was, was designing it. So, it'll stay for another video, and uh, this video will just be an update on some stuff I got going on, and the potatoes, because those are coming along nicely, and I want to show an update on those, and uh, just some random things. Um, so, let's go check out the potatoes first, before we do anything. So basically how this has been working is I uh, take this, which is just uh, tap water. I don't know if you can see, but there's a giant jug there of water. Uh, I bubble air through it um, just periodically throughout the day. Uh, a, to make it sound like a mad scientist lab down here, and B, to get the chlorine out of it and just help uh, plants like it. Um, and then what I'm using right now is the uh, hydroponics uh, flora series. So you got bloom, micro, and grow. Technically, you can get by with just these two. Uh, I just have the whole set, and uh, so anyways, I'm using the grow right now. Uh, I got it set to a fairly low PPM. If you're not interested in hydroponics, you can s hit the little button up there and we'll skip all this jargon. Uh, NPK ratios, basically the food for the plant. Um, these are sitting right now at about three, 400 PPM, and then in the next week or so, I'll keep bumping up the uh, PPM ratio uh, until I see burning on the leaves, and then I'll just throttle back a little bit. And I water them uh, with a nutrient about uh, once every couple days now. Every, every two, three days, they need a watering. Uh, they need a watering right now, so they'll be getting one shortly. And um, then I will sometimes supplement with this stuff. This is a uh, calcium and magnesium supplement, uh, which is good for when you're growing in this kind of inert medium. So yeah, that's the basics of it. Uh, we'll continue to let them grow and we'll pile up more medium here as they grow uh, to keep the stems lower so we get more roots and more potatoes and just keep rolling from there. So that's that, nothing too interesting. Um, the only real reason I'm trying to build this tripod is to get some of these shots. See? Giant tripod. And it's hard to hold, especially if I want to distance from my face kind of shot. So that's why I'm working on another tripod, because then I have this tripod. and I have a gigantic tripod in there, but that one's for my telescope, so we're never going to use that one. But anyways, this is why I build tripods. So there are two awesome things about owning a 3D printer. One of them is taking things off the build plate and then them all back together Ugh. the second best part is taking an object with support in it like this one and then peeling the support out <laughs> it's like really strong velcro but such a pleasing sound and feel. Anyways, ooh, look at that. Thanks for watching. This box, uh, I, I didn't design this box. Some guy on Thingiverse did, and he didn't design it to fit this thing. Uh, he designed it to fit quarters. So uh, I'll link it in the, in the description below. Uh, it's kind of a cool thing.